Excuse me, uh, I, don't, I don't know the Canadian subways very well. Where, where do I change for... Uh, what's wrong? <laughs> what's the matter with you? What is that? Are you a machine or what? Is <laughs> Vendor buddy? What, what do you sell? Five cents, huh? Well, I'm a kind of guy I'll try anything once. You know what I mean? <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Where do you put it? <laughs> well, you put it in the hand, huh? Is that weather we've had lately, hasn't it? Well, what am I supposed to answer? <laughs> Spring is coming early this year. Yeah, okay, all right, all right. I don't know about all you, right, but okay. I like the warm weather right. a lot better myself. <laughs> and you know what? full of trouble these days. That cost me a nickel to find that out, I know that. <laughs> People are very insecure. Well, you're making them like that with this business. I'm scared to death for this. Politicians aren't to be trusted. Yeah, right, right. And people don't trust each other these days yeah, either. Well, that's not my problem, so don't you worry But that's that. not your problem. <laughs> you know what your problem is? <laughs> What my problem is. What do you know about you? Don't know anything about me. What do you think? You're a subway no, you're a machine here, standing here in the subway with your hands sticking out. What do you know about me? It takes a psychiatrist 10, 15 years to find the workings of a man's mind. You don't know. You don't even have the common decency to look at me when you talk to me. So what is that? What's wrong with me? <laughs> I'd like to know that. What's wrong with me? You let people walk all over you. <laughs> You're wrong. You've got a good head on your shoulders. That's not my problem. You're Use wrong. it. You want to know what it is? Take I'll tell you what it is. Take the bull by the horn. I'll tell you my problem. Don't be ashamed of your problem. I'll tell the world, friend. I don't care. Don't be afraid to talk about the things that are bothering you. Money! That's what's bothering me. I don't make enough money. I'm always interested in anything you have to tell me. Right, I'll tell you. Money! That's what it is. I'll always you know, be waiting here to right. talk to you. You know my employer is? You want to hear something that's going to kill you? My brother-in-law is my employer. How's that for a situation, right? So he thinks that because his sister's my wife, it gives him a right to trample on me. He's wrong. I'll tell you right, wrong. That nobody tramples on me, particularly your relative. What kind of a situation is that? So I went to him two weeks ago. I said, Freddy, I said, I gotta have a raise. I gotta have a raise. I've been going 12 years on 97.50 a week. I got a wife, two kids to support. I can't make it. So I, uh, <laughs> so I Hey, you got change of a quarter? Here? <laughs> so I said to him, I said, uh, Freddie, I said, oh yeah, I said to him.